Hey everyone, it's the detective back again with another video and it's finally time to unbox and build BOT-01 Kolomaru. And you may have seen my crazy and hectic bottleman unboxing. Yeah, the guy from AliExpress just was really careless when packaging and it resulted in the boxes being extremely dented. You can't tell from here, but when you go to the top and here and especially back here, yeah, unfortunately, I probably will not be able to display this box. As you can see on the front, we got Kolomaru firing out a shot. BOT-01 Kolomaru, his user, Koga Kota, on the top. Koga Kota, again, bottom in animation. You can scan in the QR code. Firing ahead on the side. Shows the power wings, highlighting the hold parts in the drive strip, the armor, the caps. And on the back, we have the cap booster set, Aqua Sports, and Gyakurok. You can see it's ripped up. That was my fault when ripping it, but the, the tape was already undone when I got it, so... Yeah, pretty crazy. Anyway, let's just dump all the parts out. And unfortunately, the stickers were also a little little dinged up and bent as a result of the shipping too. So hopefully, I don't know, I'm probably going to end up having to order another Kolomaru anyway. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Nonetheless, though, we have the stickers. We have all of the red parts here. We have the parts for the core and then his caps. I'm going to cut these out of the plastic wrappings and then let's start building. And here are all the parts laid out. And I got to say... Considering that for the past, like, few days, uh, I've actually been building a lot of the beat -em on that I bought recently, and, you know, those have all the, the runners with the pieces that you have to chop off, and then, you know, the numb marks and everything. It was really a relief to open this up and just have a couple pieces, you know, no numb marks, everything is just sealed in its own little thing. Definitely very refreshing, considering it's been, like, I think almost a month since I even built Wonder Grape, so... Without further ado, let's jump right in. And I believe that the thing that we're going to start out with is actually the hold parts, because we do have this single hold part here, which uses a drive strip. And this just goes in like that. And then the next piece, just like so. And bam, that was pretty easy. These pieces here uh, then get inserted into these kind of rods here. And what happens is these rods often break either the rods or straight up the little flaps on the core. So you got to be very careful when firing this guy. I hope that in the future they release kind of other recolors of Kolomaru, Aqua Sports, and Gyakurok that have solid color cores. We take the drive strip here and we put it on this one. And then we take the just kind of standard uh, hold part there. It's a little bit different from the looks of it than uh, Gyakurok's because it has that little bump there, I assume, for power. But other than that, it's still, it's still like the general sh same like shape. And I believe that the core itself is still the same. And then this piece over here, oop, not yet. We need to take the trigger. <laughs> we need to slide on this piece. Bam, okay. Then we attach it here. And I assume that's just gonna lock in place kind of afterwards. So, moment of truth. Just gonna seal this together, basically. Bam. So then there are the hold parts you can kind of see in there. Of course, that's where it breaks right there, the stress marks that will kind of just appear over time. And again, it's very unfortunate, but it's just kind of what happens with this sort of stuff. So to finalize the core, we just attach this little back piece. Again, this is the same kind of core that Gyakurok has in terms of the shaping. The first three bottlemen all have this core, and then uh, Raijing Milk and Fujin Black have similar cores, but they just look a little bit different uh, in terms of the general like shaping on the, the face, I believe. And finally, this piece here just clips in like so. And that was ridiculously simple. I'm pretty sure that my Wonder Grape Let's Build was really long, but Wonder Grape is a little bit more complex, and also it was my first time building something like this in a while. I do really like the way that it looks. It's definitely a spin on Coca-Cola. You can kind of just, you can kind of tell. I love that. It's so cool with the little Phoenix wings. So let's actually give a little test shot here. Pretty nervous considering that this is the core that's most notorious for breakage. Oh boy, that is, holy smokes. That, that is, that is scary. Um, wow, that actually has a really decent amount of spin. You can kind of hear it spinning off in the distance. Anyway, here are the Kolomaru arms. And you'll notice that unlike Gyakurok and Aqua Sports, they actually have like these, or they're actually just like flat. He has this little stopper piece right there, which basically stops the arms from being compressed too much. And I'm pretty sure that Aqua Sports, uh, not only does do his arms get locked in place by the magazine, but they also have those little stopper parts to stop you from putting any power. But Kolomaru's arms are just nice and flat. So you can put as much power as you want. And that's both a positive and a negative. It definitely adds to the uh, 
very explosive nature of the of the bottleman. And it definitely looks very nice. I love the way it looks, but uh, you know, of course that's not gonna be too good in the long term, and it is what's leading to a lot of these to actually break. Aha. I was clipping it on wrong, but there we go. That looks really sick. And then the final part is to build the little head crest. And it actually builds a little bit differently than uh than a Gyak uh Gyakarok's head crest, which is kind of cool. Does this hold up? Oh, yep, I was right. It goes right there. And then kind of the front of the Phoenix motif. The little beak of the Phoenix, I, I suppose you could say. Just pegs on. Bam! There we go. That looks actually really, really cool. I really hope that Takara releases a white version of this guy. And hopefully if they do release a white version of Kolomaru's armor, they give him maybe like a solid core. A solid blue would be perfect because a lot of people, what they're doing is they're taking Aqua Sports' feet and then Kolomaru's armor, uh, like his, his wings and his, and his crest, and then they're putting it on the prototype bottom and core and they're making, you know, Phoenix from the original Super Beatemon, and I really want to do that because it looks very cool, but nonetheless, there are the arms, and he definitely feels very comfortable, but again, I'm very scared to use these arms just because look at how much you can really compress them, and you can also really pull back on them too. So I, I really wonder if there's a way to actually use these without putting a lot of pressure because these are very, very comfortable. They form a really great grip. I guess if you kind of push, kind of hold it like this and kind of put pressure in a way that would stop it from moving inward like instead of doing this you just kind of do like that i don't know if that would still lead to breakage it probably would but let's give a test shot i suppose holy smokes that it's really really resistant for sure like that's i guess let's try a power shot this is scary jeez that is yeah that's really strong but nonetheless, it was very, very fun to actually build Kolomaru. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm the Detective, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.